Hey guys, this is Matt, otherwise known as Spitfire Hound. Welcome back to Houndlander Gaming. Thanks to a review code given on Press Engine, today we're going to be playing Helleborn. I'm only playing the single player mode, but let's see how it goes. In Helleborn, you pilot military helicopters from across the world, from the 1950s to the present day. You can play online with friends or competitively, or you can do, as I'm doing in this video, and play against the AI in single player campaign, reliving historical battles. With over 50 different military helicopters distributed over the three different classes, there are plenty of options for anyone to choose. Today I'm using the iconic Apache, or as it's known in this game, the Adder. So as we load into this Vietnam map, there are plenty of different options stretching across the Vietnam War, but also including Afghanistan and Kosovo. You can play in single player against the AI, as I'm doing today, or you can play online in both cooperative and competitive multiplayer options for up to 10 players. But as I say, for today, I'm just going to be playing against the computer. But enough talking about it, let's get into the gameplay and see how it fares. So this is my first real skirmish, I jumped straight into the game rather than going through any slower missions or tutorials. And honestly, the learning curve's quite easy, it doesn't take long at all. The controls are quite intuitive. Quite quickly I was getting used to doing strafing runs, switching weapons, reloading, anything that I needed to do in relation to the actual helicopter. Not to say that I was a master at it, but it was quite easy to get to do, thankfully. One mistake I made, and I only realised once it was too late, was that I'd used all my missiles less than four minutes into the ten minute mission, and I was going to have a lot more armour to contend with, so yeah, don't make the same mistake I did.
I was 100% flying too well for a lot of this mission. There isn't a really high ceiling when it comes to the altitude, but even still, I was getting very low down. There were a few times where I thought I'd bunged it and was going to hit a tree or a hill. But thankfully, I managed to hold it together and keep myself up in the air. Hydraulic malfunction. Warning. Hydraulic malfunction. Overall, for what it is, I found Hellebarn quite fun. It was simple, but, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And, you know, it was fun just to be in this war machine whilst everyone else on the ground is just getting pummeled by it. So, you know, it is fun. It's not something I'd spend dozens of hours on. But, if this is your kind of game, by all means pick it up. 
it's available on the PlayStation Store. I believe with a PlayStation Plus membership, you can get it for just under £9. Alternatively, you can go on CD keys and pick it up for about a tenner. So, you know, if this is your kind of game, by all means, give it a go. It is good fun. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great time and I'll see you on the next video.